bro, I scared you. What up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, STB Knight. About to get on one of these things, you feel me? Well, I'm about to talk a little shit. I ain't about to react nothing right now, but y'all gonna see. Uh, what's good with my Night Nation? We out here, man, grinding the girl, growing the ground all the time. Yeah, I'm sure y'all see the, the tat. It looks weird right now because I got this, this, I don't know what you call it, like this film over it that's going to help it heal fast. So it looks all crazy, but when it got tatted yesterday, me and wifey got our son's name tatted on us, on the neck, or her on the wrist. Maybe I'll post a little slip of y'all to see. I don't know. Here we go. That's hard. Uh, but yeah. So, about to talk a little shit, man. Talk a little shit, and it's the 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 timing of it couldn't be any more perfect. But I don't know, cause it kind of fucked me up, cause I was going to uh, actually release. I was actually going to post the reaction that I did to some Joe Button, um, because. And y'all gonna see, I'll post the video next week. But I believe that Joe Budden is the biggest disappointment to hip hop ever. Ever. Y'all gonna see why I, I say that here pretty soon, man. But you know what I'm saying? It's a waste. It's a waste of like dope ass talent. I wish they would have gave that talent to somebody else. Cause now I was just sitting over here collecting dust because this motherfucker is a goddamn clown. And we're highlighting the clownness that he's continuing to showcase. So apparently. Apparently, um, he misspoke. <laughs> he misspoke. I'm trying to find the original tweet. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? I don't know if he took this shit down. This motherfucker be tweeting all day. Um, let me go back to where I was. So, apparently, he went after the wrong genre of music, and he misspoke. <laughs> he didn't know his facts. Um... He's, I think he said he didn't like BTS music, which whatever, you're, that's fool, that's, that's that's fine to say. Which, I mean, it's really, it's really not fine to say nowadays because motherfuckers are sensitive, dog. Like, you can't disagree with people. You cannot disagree with people today without, like, causing no friction. Motherfuckers will get mad at you because you don't see it their way. But that's a whole different story. But what I will say he's guilty of is saying that BTS is a Chinese group. And that's, that's when he got them, you can't do that, bro. BTS is the biggest shit in music right now. Numbers wise, bro, like they crushing everybody. A lot of support. They got stands. You know what I mean? I don't know what they call their stands, but they got stands and they are out here heavy. And when Joe Budden said that shit, you know they swarmed to that shit like flies on shit and they've been giving this motherfucker the business. He didn't know he didn't know what he stepped into. He shouldn't have done it. He had to know though, bro. He's a he's a he's a music. He knows about music, and if I know about BTS, he definitely knows about BTS, right? But apparently he don't, cause he called them motherfuckers Chinese, and they came out in full effect. They are firing that ass up on Twitter. You know what I mean? So we're gonna just run some. We're gonna run some of these tweets, bro. Like, bro, come on, dog. Like, why, why, for what, bro? What, what did BTS do to you? Like, I, I, I mean, I want to know. I need, I need more context to it. I, I want to know if somebody asked him that and they set him up and he just walked into the shit, or he just was like out here talking crazy and, and said some shit he wasn't supposed to say. Okay, so he posted this at 7:26 a.m. Yesterday, so let's look. Let me go back to his. Hold on, let me pull this up so y'all can see what I'm looking at. All right, there we go. That's me. I got the. I got. I got an NFT from my profile page. I got a. Uh, I got a uh, mutant ape. I got. I don't got a board ape. I got a mutant ape. But that's that's my ape right there. Um, but he posted this. He posted it on April yesterday, 7:30 a.m. Um, I'm, I want to go through like people firing his ass up, but I, I want to see the original tweet. So. Go to his shit. All this shit should be time stamped, right? So this is a fourth now. We're too too far. Good morning, everyone. Joe Budden, damn girl, why you so fine? Is the line, my guy. Joe Budden is right at 
Joe at Joe Budden is right about hating on BTS, but for the wrong reasons. So how do I go to what the fuck he tweeted originally? See, man, I'm out here looking crazy. I get not liking someone's music. Not everything is everyone's cup of tea, but why hate? Why did they, what did they do? Genuinely asking, I get hating on artists accused of SA. I don't know what the fuck that is. Homophobes and so on, but what did they do to make y'all so mad? They are literally just minding their own business. Why? Okay, hold on. I want to see what he originally said, man. Joe Budden under fuck, fuck, huh. Joe Budden under fire for claiming he hates BTS for no reason and calling the members Chinese. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Where's the tweet? God damn it! Oh, he said it on the podcast on April sixth episode of Joe Budden's podcast, the Joe Budden podcast. He recapped the Grammy Awards and revealed his feelings about BTS, saying, "I hate them, BTS." Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I hate them BTS. Nah, you wildin' now. I've wilded before. I don't wanna hear that. I don't wanna see them dance moves. I don't wanna see you come down from the sky in the little ele uh, uh, umbrella. I don't wanna see it. I know they big. I know it's China. I don't wanna see I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna see it's Korea, but Korea. I don't wanna see Korean sync. Tell me why though. Do I need a reason? Yeah, come on. You should. You don't have a reason? If you don't have a reason, that's disgusting. I hate them. That's all I need to hear. That's all I need to hear. That is all I need to hear, bro. Fire his ass up. Fire his ass up. Like, he ain't even got a reason, bro. You know what I mean? And he didn't know what the fuck he stepped into. It well, sounded like he low-key knew what the fuck he was talking about because he know he knows they're the biggest thing out here. You know what I mean? But me trying to bring some rationality to this situation, bro. I'm thinking that Joe Budden just sees these motherfuckers everywhere. I guess they won some awards on the Grammys. But he's not in tune as to, as to what the fuck is going on, right? So maybe he just see all this shit going on. He's just sick of seeing this shit. Maybe he just he maybe he just has BTS fatigue, right? Okay, that's understandable, bro. Just say you sick and tired of seeing motherfuckers everywhere. But you're going to say, I don't know. And then you're going to fucking, like, call these motherfuckers Chinese, bro. Like, how would you feel if somebody did that shit to you? But, and, but I mean, that's like individual case, bro. You disrespected an entire country. And this this country, well, I don't even know. I don't know who supports BTS as much as Korea does, but I'm assuming the whole geographic location over there fuck with BTS tough, right? So, like, so now you got all these stand like fans that you have disrespected, bro. You deserve everything's about to come to you, dog. And that's why, and that's just another reason why Joe Bun's a fucking clown, dog. And it, and, it, and it fucking frustrates me, bro. But he's the he's the biggest disappointment in hip hop history, dog. Yes, that's right. I fucking said I'll say it again, dog. Why are you gonna do that shit, bro? Why, why are you gonna do that shit? Why you do that shit, bro? Bro, they were gonna they're gonna troll you. They're going to troll you forever. It ain't gonna stop. It is not going to stop. I know he ain't heard no shit, bro. I know he ain't heard no shit. Like. For me, I've done a few reactions at BTS. I like the way the shit sounds, but I can't understand what the fuck they're saying. But I, I can hear the complexities and shit hip-hop-wise. Like, if you have a music ear, you're going to like how the shit sounds. You know what I mean? I remember, but I remember my one of my first reactions or one of my... I haven't reacted to that shit in a long time because I just saw the support of their stands. And I ain't even got time for that smoke. But I just gave my opinion on how I saw the shit visually, right? It looks it looks a certain way visually, and I wasn't really fucking with it. And I gave my opinion on that, bro. The stands and there was going crazy. You know what I mean? And that was like a that was an objective, not objective, but that was just my opinion. I wasn't hating. I just said what the fuck. I said I saw what I saw. I said how I felt about it, and they ain't like how I felt about it. At least I had reason to give what I gave. This motherfucker is just a whole fucking country and the, and the whole all the goddamn music and as big as they are, bro. He deserve every goddamn ounce of smoke, y'all. Give his ass. Keep giving it to him. Don't let off the goddamn gas, bro. Joe, the only way you fix this shit, I'm on. Uh, you can't fix it, bro, because you the numbers is against you, bro. It's a wrap. It's a wrap for every fucking support you get from 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 someone that likes you. You're gonna get a hundred messages that fucking hate you now, bro. You shouldn't have done it, but 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 I mean, at least you got them put some music out to like kind of soften the blow. <laughs> or soften whatever there is to soften, dog. You fucking dickhead. You fucking dickhead. You're a fucking dickhead, bro. Why would you do that? 
Why would you do that, bro? Like, you can't do that, dog. This is the day and age we live in, bro. Like, you can't do that, bro. If you want to keep up, if you want to maintain your level of whatever the fuck it is, dog, you can't move this way, bro. Like, come on, dog. Come on, bro. You're smarter than that. Like, he ain't. But you're supposed to be smarter than that. But anyway, I'm all, I'm all caught up to speed. I want to get back to these goddamn comments, though. I want to get back to these comments. That, that's why I came here to see what the hell motherfuckers was saying. Like, I'm going to get bullied out of my music opinion. Bro, you didn't give an opinion. That wasn't an opinion. I mean, I guess, but you didn't You didn't provide no justification for it. You just sound like you was hating. You should have said, like, I'm going to get bullied for hating. That's what you should have fucking said, because all that shit was fucking pure hate. They, they come with the receipts. Now, like, this you, right, still think your opinion matters? Raping See, my that, dog. That's how I know that he's not a real animal uh, lover. Because I don't play with my pets. Anybody with a pet... You come on, you did a little something down there, man. Made your dog feel good. Hello. I've never done. Well, you've never. <laughs> Basie, it's okay. My God, right? I'm sorry. It's baby. a girl. I love you, love you, We're just using slurs. Don't worry about yeah, it. Why do I always want to make the dog feel good by playing with their fucking privates? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they like that. They <laughs> fucking beastly alley. Stop, stop, all, stop, stop raping see, my that, dog. That's how I know that he's not a real animal uh, lover. Because <laughs> I don't play with my pets. Anybody with a pet. You come on, you did a little something down there, man. Made your dog feel good. Hello. I've never done. Well, you've never. <laughs> bruh, 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 waste, waste of talent, bro. Why the fuck did you say that? They come in with the receipts. They come in with the receipts. September eighth, twenty twenty. This motherfucker is into bestiality, apparently, bro. Woof. Oof, hold on, what else they got? What else they got? Let me put y'all on some BTS game since y'all want to trash BTS on um, your podcast. First of all, I'm an avid listener of the Joe Budden podcast, have been for over four years, so don't nobody come for me, right? First of all, Joe Budden, they are Korean, not Chinese. You know, all Asian people don't come from the same country, sir. Second of all, what are you talking about being pressed in front of your face? These boys have worked for 10 years to get to this moment. And like your coworkers told you, they have slaps. Like your Facts. narrow mindedness when it comes to shit like this is hella fucking irritating. Facts. And I say this as a hip hop fan and a BTS fan. You do realize they have rappers in the group, right? You do realize that it took them a long time to like actually get this amount of push that they're getting from, uh, from their American label, right? Like, Joe, I'm all for you expressing your opinion, but I'm over you hating popular things just because you don't see why it was more popular than you ever were. Mm -hmm. Mic drop. Mic drop. That's all I need. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm go back and read some more of these shits. I'll be here all day looking at that. That was, that was entertaining. Joe Bun's a clown. He's a fucking clown, man. That's, that's, that's all that needs to be said, bro. And it sucks because... He was, they blessed the wrong person with this talent, with the talent they gave him, bro, because he's so fucking talented. He's so, that's why this shit sound off. He's so fucking talented, man. He's so fucking talented, bro. And it's just a waste of fucking space. I hope the mic sounds, didn't sound too fucked up. I had that bitch all the way up there. But, um, yeah, man, that's crazy. It's crazy. Wait, man, uh, that's it. That's all I got. Hey, a lot of y'all been asking about the, I ain't gonna say a lot of y'all. I've, I've, I've gotten more than a few um, in inquiries about the, this shirt. I am a masculinist. I am a ma or I'm a masculinist, man. It essentially means I'm a men's right advocate. I'm a men's right activist. Men need their rights advocated for, like, probably never more than right now. It's it's crazy in these streets, bro. And um, like I haven't, bro. This is like anytime you see a fucking shirt that I'm promoting or I'm wearing, bro. Like, I'll, the only thing I wear these days is my fucking merch. Matter of fact, but um. Yeah, man, I, 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 I live and breathe and, where the fuck, where, where's the, I think I hung it, hold on, y'all may hear my fan, it's hot as fuck, bro, it's like 100 degrees in this bitch, you hear my fucking fan going crazy, but yeah, once I read the back of this shit to y'all, then y'all know what this shit means, but um, yeah, Men have the highest rate of suicide. 70% of homeless are men. 75% of murder victims are men. 93% of prisoners are men. 92% of work-related deaths are men. Men receive harsher punishments than women for the same crimes. Divorce court favors women. Fraternity court favors women. Only men are victims of paternity fraud. Society ignores men's mental health. The list goes on. We need men's rights advocates. Bruh, another mic drop. I'm out.